Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024 crosswords, and go for that 1495 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, uh, Judas? Orgo? Bye. Jump and Judge LMAO J Lo. I see. So we've got J's going down the diagonal there. Barrister or Barista. Photo Ops. We've got Judas and J Lo. Interesting. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Billy Bratton today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. And, uh, this one looks oddly sized. It does look 15 tall, so based on what I'm seeing on my screen, should be extra wide, right? So probably an extra wide puzzle on this Tuesday. Let's see, uh, let's see what Billy Bryan has in store for us. Let's get into it. A vessel for Whitewater Rapids, that's a raft made over. Why bias Loha? Stay at home dad. Barrage. And Field Protector, maybe a tarp. Ella Enchanted there. Mammal whose scientific name is just its name repeated. Let the cat out of the bag. Uh, beverage with a seasonal pumpkin spice latte. Are you for real? Unit of phone service. I think it's Blab here. Throw one so part behind as a candidate. Probably endorse. Melting face or heart hands. I don't know what those are. French River, where two or one battles took place. Is it the Marne? Goofy Ascent, that proceeds artichoke. Okie dokie, but I don't know how it should be spelled. Oh, emoji. Jen Psaki beats me, it's I don't know. So he tumbles a drink. I guess we're like this today. Headwear for Ellen Chanted is a tiara. Bison Bison, Black Friday offer, e.g. Doorbuster. Old habit is a tunic. Jesus or Jesus. Something extended to a borrower. Line of credit. Like stiff muscles. Tense. Expression. One might be Horatian. So this is an ideal. Fam. is kin. No, idiom. Ominous words on a flunk test is see me. Drone is a bee. Atlantic or Pacific cod, probably. T before bed. Decaf, hopefully. Plus these other authors at all. An eel can give you a shock. Choices in a sleepover game. Truth or dare. How we no nos are DUIs. Maybe mesh with one's peers. British Isles inhabitant during the Iron Age. Uh, Celt. This is belts out, and I hope not. Okay. Yui's here. This is outdo, probably. Legislative proposal. CeeLo Green's Forget You. It's a radio edit. This is an atoll. Floor exercise. It's a gymnastic sequence. Isn't it? No. Is it not? Stop right there. Or a hint to the first words. Door line. Hold it. Hold the floor. Hold the line. Hold the door. Fit in here. Grit is metal. Motto is words to live by. Elihu Yale. That's the hour and motion here. TV drama about anarchist hackers. Mr. Robot. It could be emo there. Alluded to is got at. Omega's in the Greek alphabet. Amigo. Sag Aftra and in my opinion. Blank Horizon. The event horizon. Pass the laws in an act. Mansif Medical Center headquartered in Rochester, Minnesota. Mel Brooks, Ava DuVernay, a lady, dramatic irony, messed with is toyed with, floor routine, okay, the Mayo Clinic, hold the Mayo, in which you might talk through your problems, an oral exam, PG Keen is swell, Ixne is a pig Latin turndown, Beyond Chill is icy, Michael Caine, YMCA's, all right, so we've got things that can be held. You can hold the door like 
hold the door open for somebody. Or not let it close if someone's running towards it. You could hold the line. You could hold the floor. And you can hold mayo, like on a sandwich. Pretty creditable theme. I don't think it's anything crazy inventive or creative or anything. Things you can hold only involving the, the first part. I guess it's interesting that it's uh, even a six letter revealer in the middle. That's what gives us the uh, 16 wide, extra wide puzzle. But yeah, I think it's a creditable Tuesday, but it's not, it's not revolutionary. <laughs> not revolutionizing anything anyway. Uh, should we look through this thing? Let's, uh, let's, let's look through this thing quickly. He briefed, that's funny. Bit sleepy, unfortunately. Didn't know Jesus, etc. I should listen to it. Okay, there is being plural, there is okay. See me, it's pretty ominous. Didn't know about this. The fun little fact about Muhammad Ali that he def defeated Superman in some special issue of a comic. Nana being included as a Peter Pan dog there. Bison Bison. I think I did know Bison Bison. Okie dokie. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was O K E Y. Or IE. Is Jen Psaki the most famous Jen these days? Of course, you know, in a crosser need not be the most famous person. But Elihu Yale probably is one of the most famous Elihus. I've heard of Mr. Robot, never watched it. I like this cheeky little Ixnay. Yeah, I think it's uh, sort of a normal, normal Tuesday all around. Pretty classic kind of theme. Exactly on average. Exactly on my Tuesday average. Although it is extra wide, so that, that suggests that it's actually a bit fast. But I called it a normal puzzle and ended up exactly average. Anyway, let's move on to some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. There's a link in the description below. It's a British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end. It's free to play. Like a cactus or a hedgehog is spiky or spiny. Snuff out here. Paved outdoor area. Milan football team is inter. Here to pray. Maybe it's knelt. 1760 yards in a mile. Uh, utter. Field and forts. Patio. Nana. We had Nana. That's the Peter Pan dog spelled differently, but just flick there. Nonna, that's like Italian maybe, although maybe only with a single N. Inter Milan. Pretty famous as far as football clubs go. Anyway, let's move on to the Telegraph code words, which is uh, not free to play. It's free to watch me do it, though. I do enjoy code words quite a bit, though. So. Oops, how do I? Okay. Looking for the E. This looks promising as an E, I think. Maybe this is something like elevate. This could be jello, I guess. This is village, at least. This, I want to say pigment. Is that reasonable? What is this? Could also be figment, I guess. Okay. Right, I wanted N here. I think it's gotta be N. Penne? That system was jelly. Oh, yttrium, the element. Okay, that explains a lot. Peak. There's our O. Not too many O's. Clipper, I guess? Yeah, recent looks right. 
Scruff. Uh, Libra, Brevet. Adel, Judoka. That's someone who does Judo. Zaz, wow, look at all those Zs. And Swamp, nice. This Pizzazz crossing Dizzy. You never think it's Zs. You gotta cross there too early. Judoka. Let's try the code words regular. See if it's any easier. This looks like an N, right? This looks like an I. Gotta figure out what this word is. Fungi? No, it's not fungi because the N is counted for. Corgi. It could be corgi. Let's hope it's corgi. Oceanic. Wait, ideal and adieu. Look at all those vowels. Equinox and galaxy. Signet. Signet. Rather, it's a small swan. We have pigment instead of figment this time. Tariff. Laugh. Is our K? Probably. This is object. Uh, wreck. That's what that is. And maze. All right. Pretty fast code words today. Both of them. Let's end as we always do on the New York Times Connections puzzle, where we try to make four groups of four. I actually know, based on some texts I got from some friends, that today we've got emojis, which is quite creative. I looked briefly, but I didn't think about them at all. So let's let's see if we can figure it out. Bread, brain, kettle, saw, shocked, sheep, lettuce, train, alien, cheese, rain cloud, eye, bacon, plane, B, Dracula. Okay, so immediately I thought maybe saw and scream. Maybe Dracula are sort of an alien or sort of horror movies. Airplane is a comedy movie. B movie is an animated movie. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that these are all movies, but these seem like they could be horror movies. Oh, we have bread, cheese, lettuce, and bacon. Those are foods. So let's say they're f let's say it's foods. It's not quite a BLT. Tomato would be better. Uh, I or C. Let's let's see if these are movies. Nice. Okay, horror movies. That's good. Should we see if these are foods? Let's see if they're foods. Okay. Oh, food's like for money. <laughs> Bread, bacon, kale, or lettuce, actually, I think, and cheddar. So now just one last one. Brain, B, train, brain, train, plane, rain, I see. And then I, B, T, and uh, U. So these are all things that sound like words, one-syllable words. No, letters, letters. <laughs> Sound like letters. Nice, all right. Pretty fun, pretty fun. I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't mind emoji connections, even not on April Fool's Day. Quite a fun one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.